It is April 16, 1865, and the Union and Confederate cavalry are clashing over a bridge in Columbus, Georgia in one of the last battles of the U.S. Civil War. Now I'm sure you're wondering what this has to do with Coca-Cola, but don't worry, I promise it all ties together. During this fight, a Confederate colonel named John Pemberton takes a sword wound to the chest and has to be carried away from the fight. Believe it or not, this set of facts is the reason why we clip coupons, why we see billboards on every corner, and why you can enjoy a refreshing Coca-Cola on a hot summer day. John Pemberton was dragged off to the battlefield at Columbus and was expected to die. The sword had cut him deeply and he was bleeding from a huge wound. The doctors gave him a ton of morphine to ease what they thought might be his last few hours, and despite what the doctors thought, John Pemberton survived. But like many Civil War veterans, he became dependent on the painkiller, even going so far as to start a pharmacy in Atlanta after the war just so he could have his own personal supply of morphine. Pemberton battled with this addiction for years before deciding to search for a cure. In his search for a cure, he heard of something called coca wine, which was basically a mixture of wine and cocaine, and decided to give it a shot. From that basis, he developed his first product, Pemberton's French Wine Coca Nerve Tonic, which was a strong shot of alcohol mixed with a cocaine. Now, I'm not sure about y'all, but I'm pretty sure that would make me feel better. Shortly after he developed his tonic, Prohibition struck Georgia and halted the production and sale of alcohol. Now you may think this was a big deal, but cocaine, however, was still completely legal. That makes a lot of sense, right? Pemberton reformulated his product into a non-alcoholic beverage and kept right on selling it. Although, by 1888, the recipe contained only around 9 milligrams of cocaine, which is about one-tenth the usual recreational dose, or at least that's what I've been told. Don't rush out and buy a Coke expecting to get your fix because after 1903, no cocaine was put into Coca-Cola products. Eventually, the morphine addiction got the better of John Pemberton and he was found dead in 1888. After John's death, a fight broke out between his former partner, Asa Candler, and John's son, Charlie. But in the end, Candler did what any corporate guru would do and threw money at everyone he could until he was in complete control. I mean, whatever works, right? Basically, he bought everyone out for around $3,000. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'd say this was a great investment considering the Coca-Cola brand value for 2018 is sitting right around $80 billion. After gaining control, Asa had the brilliant idea to hand out slips of paper that would offer one free sample of Coca-Cola to anyone with a coupon. Now for all of you extreme couponers, you know that you need to thank Coca-Cola for being one of the first to implement the use of coupons. This marketing strategy was so effective that between 1894 and 1913, one in nine Americans had drank a free Coca-Cola. This caused the brand to spread like wildfire and also made couponing a marketing strategy for most large brands. By 1898, federal tax on medicines increased greatly. And thus, Coca-Cola stopped calling itself a medicine and started marketing itself as a refreshing beverage. So the marketing strategy changed again. One of the other more notable things about Coca-Cola is that it is also considered an inventor of outdoor advertising. It's plastered everywhere, I mean on every available surface, with its name from the sides of buildings to billboards and even a local brothel in Rome. I guess they get thirsty too. So next time you crack open your ice cold Coca-Cola, Remember without Mr. Pemberton being stabbed by a sword and becoming an addict to morphine and searching for a cure, we may not have ever known about coupons or even an ice cold Coca-Cola. Now if you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of our historical adventures.